Yeah, you really have to watch your step for nails. This is somebody's roof right here, right next to it. That's a power line. There are shingles and nails everywhere. I spoke to the woman who lives next door and had to hide in her bathtub as all of this was flying around her house. Check out this drone video one of our viewers sent us, showing an aerial view of the tornado's path through Lakewood Park just one hour after it came tearing through. So we were just sitting here like this, and so she was next to me, and I was like hanging onto her. And when the tornado warnings went off, Bobby Galbraith jumped in the bathtub with her 125 pound mastiff. Two minutes after that, I said, Oh my gosh, right in the middle of a tornado, and I could hear it coming and stuff. I could hear flying and hitting stuff, and I'm like, huh. How did you know when it was safe to get out of the bathroom? It just got real quiet. I couldn't hear anything. Fort Pierce Boulevard was a mess. In the trees next to her house, Galbraith found somebody's roof. Power lines were down, and the shed in her backyard was missing. Of course, the shed was gone. I don't know where it is. And all the stuff in the shed was laying in the other side of the backyard. The National Weather Service says it was an EF1 tornado that went through Lakewood Park, packing winds up to 90 miles per hour. Galbraith has been through hurricanes, but never a tornado. It was scary because, you know, I mean, five minutes notice. I mean, I just looked out the window and I'm like, oh my gosh, and that was it. So I think that was the scariest thing is no warning. Now take a look across the street, five homes in a row, all with blue tarps, all damaged by the tornado. So it is anybody's guess whose roof this is. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, John Zanitas, WPBF 25 News. Wow.